getting released. As you can see, just dropped off at the C train station. Actually, against our will, I had a ride at the front of the Remand Center, but they wouldn't allow me to go and take my ride. So as you can see, the way I dropped off here. But nevertheless, happy to be out. Been about a week or so. Uh, bail hearing went well. Just big shout out to my lawyer and shout out to all the supporters that came. Thank you guys. Love you. Thanks for everybody just watching, supporting, and donating. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens moving forward here. How do you feel about your new bail conditions? Well, you know, I don't like any of the bail conditions, to be honest. I don't like to be on any kind of um, leash, as I am uh, innocent until proven guilty. But I am happy that, you know, Ben had an outstanding performance today at uh, the, the bail hearing and did loosen up some other conditions that we were concerned about. And there's some other ones that were added that are kind of inconsequential, aren't really that big of a deal, like weapons. It has nothing to do with these charges, but that's fine anyways. And what were your reactions to the comments that the Crown was making at today's bail hearing? Well, I like how Ben keeps reminding everybody that these are allegations and I'm innocent until proven guilty. And they keep trying to push the, the hate crime and he has to remind them again. He's not charged under a hate crime and they keep trying to spin it, of course, in that uh, direction. You know, the Crown, we know that that's their job to paint me with a certain brush. They bring up my, my whole past, my whole criminal record of like 12 years ago and, and just trying to have me look like a certain guy. But we're just thankful, you know, and praise God again for Ben's performance and for the judge as she was fair and I thought uh, did a good job there as well. And please visit SavePastorDerek.com to offset his legal fees to fight these outlandish charges in court. Thank you for joining me. Stay tuned.